Hey, hi, hello. So you've received your wood burning kit. Let's do a step-by-step -step instruction on all the goodies so that you have a very good wood burning experience. So are you ready? What you'll have included in your kit is a three ounce full size jar of torch paste. It's amazing. Now don't let that size fool you. A little goes a long way and you'll soon see. You're also going to receive a stir stick, a mini squeegee, a wood round, and this some have holes and some don't, and we'll put this one together. And also, you will receive a handmade stencil um, by me for you to use on your kit if you'd like. And the torch paste is handmade by me every single batch. So really pretty excited to share it with you and I wanna thank you for ordering the kit. This is what you'll need to do first is you'll have to remove the clear backing from the stencil. Can you guys see that? It, there is a backing and I'm not going to lie that getting it off might be a little tricky so just be patient. But what you wanna do is you wanna remove that, set it aside because you will need that later. What I would like you to do is just to grab a damp cloth and I just want you to brush lightly on your stencil because it is an adhesive stencil. And then we're just gonna wave it and now you'll feel that the adhesive is really, really working much better. So we're just going to simply apply it where we want and because this has a hole in it for an ornament, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna align it right underneath there. Take your finger and smooth out any air bubbles. Now we're gonna take, you can take your stir stick and apply just a very small amount, guys. Truly, it's a very teeny tiny amount. Even this amount right here is probably gonna be enough to do three. <laughs> but we'll go ahead, we're just gonna dab it right on there. Now what is going to happen is when you take your squeegee, you wanna take the angled side and you wanna press down and you wanna make sure that you're passing that orange wood burn paste right through the design. Just as simple as that. All right, so once you have that done, I want you to scrape the excess up and off, see that? And you're gonna add it right back to your jar because, you, like I mentioned, a small amount goes a very long way and you're gonna set everything aside. Now, we're just gonna remove the stencil just like this and you'll see that it's orange and um, so we're going to set this aside for a minute or two and the reason we're going to do that is that we're allowing the paste to absorb into the wood or whatever surface that you are burning in the meantime I want to show you how easy it is to wash the stencil because as I mentioned it is reusable so I just have a little bit of water here in my bowl and I am going to take that same cloth and I'm just going to wash away as easy as that. So now, my friends, this stencil is going to be ready to use again. You will take it and you will put it right back on your clear sheet, just like that, okay? And you can also pat it to dry. And, oh, did I bring, I don't know if I have that with me. Let's just wipe that off pat it to dry and you're good to go. We've had enough time for that to absorb. So now let's take our, whew, our heat gun. It will only work with a heat gun. So a hair dryer is, does not get hot enough. So the, ideally you want the temperature to be about 400 degrees. I use the Seek One. Let me see if I can get that closer. There you go. I use the Seek One 1800 watt heat gun, and I also use it with this attachment. It comes with four attachments, but this is the one I choose because it really funnels the heat really well and concentrates it where I want it to go on my surface. So the link is available, guys. Um, if you want to use the same one that I use, um, that's great. I can share that link with you. I'm happy to do that. So. Um, what you want to do is always be mindful that this metal piece right here, all this is gonna be hot. So just be careful. Also, um, it's best to burn outside in a well-ventilated area because this will burn and you'll start seeing the magic and then you'll start smelling the magic because it's actually burning the wood. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's going to get loud. I can't mute um, my equipment. I'm um, sorry about that, but I promise it won't take very long. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And remember, you want it at 400 or more. And just let it warm up a little bit. Now, for a proper burn, I want you to stay about two inches away from the surface, two to three inches away from the surface, and keep your heat gun in motion all over your surface because you're going to warm the warm the entire surface. And then where we've applied the paste, that is where it's going to burn. Warming the entire surface, and it's going to start to burn. I'm going to slow it down. See the distance, guys. You control the distance between the heat gun and your product. All right, guys. Do you see that? There was little rings there, but I'm going to keep the heat going. Just like this. Oh, my goodness. Look at the ever-fine details. I wanted to minimize the leaks underneath the vinyl and the stencils um, that ever that we use right to create our little masterpieces um, so look at the fine detail and that's why I gave everyone a, a little uh, stencil in their kits is um, so that you can see the fine detail now if you're not familiar with the reusable stencils and you'd like more information I'm going to link that as well uh, for you um, it's because that is also a kit that you're able to purchase if you're interested I'll share that but there it is my friends look at that just like that now I want you to see right here can you see that it's still a little bit orange so that's an indicator to me that that isn't burnt all the way through so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to apply a little more heat just like that and it will turn that dark brown that I like so the, the longer you apply the heat the darker the burn is going to be so that my friends is now fully burned and looking fantastic now I'm gonna take my hand it's warm look it's not coming off it's actually burnt and you can smell it too if you want to seal this you're able to do that. If you want to stain over it, you can do that now as well. Or you can just leave it in its nice, raw, natural state. However, we are going to go ahead and we're going to add a little bit of mineral oil to this. Um, or we can um, do Odie's. There's, there's a couple of different kinds that I love to use. Um, you, you know what? Let's use the Odie's. Just a little bit goes a long way with this. But you can use mineral oil, um, whatever that you want to use um, You can to seal it. Just using just a cloth just to apply it. See how it turns that just beautiful. And this is going to keep our wood nicely sealed and protected. But that, my friends is your wood burning with heat project and i want to thank you for purchasing the kit if you haven't purchased the kit yet they are in um they're in stock and you can find them at torchpaste.com or you can visit my etsy shop whichever you prefer but i want to thank you very much and if you have any questions know that i am only an email away you can contact me at info at torchpaste.com um, and I'm happy, or message me, anyway, but DM me, however you can get a hold of me, whatever platform that you're on, reach out to me. I am here to help you through the process. There's a little bit of learning curve, but I can guarantee that you will love this product, and I'm very excited for you to try it. Thanks so much, and you guys have a fantastic day, and if you like this video, if you like the product, please share. That'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Take care. Be well, my friends.